Bolton, a place that I've never been to before, especially not for the football. Look at this. The University of Bolton Stadium, formerly known as the Reebok, formerly known as the Macron. Um, a stadium that has been through more name changes than I've been through vlogs, and that's a lot. So, um, yes, yeah, Bolton v Burton tonight. The Battle of the Bees, I suppose, the two bees. Um, oh, look, you can see through to the pitch there already. Look, they're getting ready for today's game. And it is a League One clash. Again, a brand new stadium for me. Um, Burton are the away team. I've seen them before, years before I um, started my channel. Liverpool played Burton, um, so I went as an away fan fan and um, yeah met Ragnar Clavin and Alberto Moreno that day um, so yeah absolutely great little club Burton are. I've been to their ground before the Pirelli Stadium I think it's called and uh, but yeah look never been to Bolton before so absolutely buzzing to be here they've got some famous fans of course Peter Kay I think Vernon Kay might be a Bolton fan I might be wrong on that Paddy McGuinness a couple of YouTubers as well Stunt Peg and uh, whoever these two guys are as well so yeah um, absolutely buzzing to be here at Bolton Two huge Bolton fans playing Burton tonight. What do you expect of the game, first of all? Well, uh, Burton got a good team on the yeah. end, so... Strong league this year, isn't yeah, it, League yeah, One? Yeah, yeah, but I, th I think Bolton will win it, to be honest. Yeah, and how about yourself, do you think Bolton will win? Uh, yeah, probably. I think 3-0, probably. And I've never been to uh, the, I was going to call it the Macron Stadium then, and yeah, the Reebok earlier on, but yeah. it's been for a few uh, name changes, of yeah, course. Yeah. What should I expect today from the atmosphere on a nighttime game yeah, like this? Really, really good. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the lights, will that be better than like a Saturday 3 o'clocker, do you yeah, think? Uh, well, I yeah. don't know, because it's, it's, it's a night game, and it's all... Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. So let's pretend it's a European tie. Yeah. <laughs> So with the Reebok behind me, let's uh, use today's sponsor, OneFootball, to find out about the two teams. Yes, this is a sponsored segment, but don't skip this part of the video. It's a crucial part where we're going to find out a little bit about the sides for today. So, Bolton have never beaten Burton Albion in a football league encounter, losing three of their four games, drawing one. They have faced the Brewers more than any other club without winning in their entire football league history. Will that change today? By the sounds of chatting to a few fans, I think it might. Burton Albion have won all three of their away games against Bolton in all competitions, winning in the League Cup first round in August 2015 and two league games in 2017 and 2020. Bolton have lost just one of their last 14 league games, uh, winning nine and drawing drawing four. Um, going down 2-1 against Exeter in their final home game of last season. Having won their first three league games this season, Burton have failed to win either of their last two games in League One. So a few of the stats are looking like it might be Burton that are going to win, but a few of the stats say it might be Bolton, which means it's probably going to be a draw, doesn't it? But I'm absolutely buzzing for this one today. And yeah, OneFootball is a great app for checking stats like that pre and post game, and you can keep up to date with news and scores and all that kind of stuff. It's a brilliant app. First link in the description box below by downloading it using that link they'll know it's come from this video, which means they might want to sponsor me again. So please support the channel in downloading OneFootball. It's a great app and it's completely free. And it's impossible to come to Bolton and do a vlog and not check out the statue of Nat Lofthouse, one of the greatest players in the club's history, if not the greatest. I mean, uh, there's a statue of him right here, so he probably is the greatest. But they have had Ivan Campo as well. But yeah, just look at this. I guess this is him uh, playing for England. Yeah, that looks like he's in an England shirt there. And here he is lifting the FA Cup as well. It says on here, FA Cup final. And that'd be the Bolton badge, I suppose. The, the Rose, I guess, of Lancashire and Bolton Wanderers. And here, celebrating and remembering the significant moments in the history of Bolton Wanderers Football Club. So let's find, uh, here we go. Look, Nat Lofthouse, first ever Bolton Wanderers player to play in the World Cup, Belgium versus England, which must have been that picture that we saw just a second ago. Uh, first ever live televised league game, Blackpool v Bolton. I think I might have seen that at Blackpool, actually, you know. And a few more moments through uh, through the Bolton history as well. So a few more of the modern ones. First European game, Bolton v Locomotive Plovdiv in the UEFA Cup 2005. Elhad Stuf scored the first European goal from, for Bolton Wanderers in that year. So, yeah, look at that. From 1881, the first game played in the FA Cup competition, Bolton v Eagley. Wow. And then, yeah, look, first international player, England v Wales. They've obviously had Nat Lofthouse, first player in the World Cup. Absolutely 
legend and his statue is just there behind us and then yeah look it goes to 2005 with not much to shout about after that I know Bolton for me were a Premier League team as a kid growing up you'd always see them in the sticker albums and in the Premier League on FIFA and FM and stuff like that but but not anymore and you know there is a no greater clue to what's happened to the club than if you just look at this board and see there's nothing after 2005 but hopefully soon enough they can have uh, you know 2022 or three or whatever and have Bolton getting promoted back to the Premier League and hopefully they can fill this up with a lot more stuff to be proud of must admit of course it is a league one ground and a lot of league one grounds you go to aren't huge don't have statues aren't Premier League standard but of course this is an impressive stadium and was built, I guess, for Premier League football and for European football, as we saw by the Nat Lofthouse statue over there. That, um, yeah, you know, El Had Stu was scoring in 2005 in the UEFA Cup for Bolton. So they've had quite the fall in recent years. I know they've had some pretty bad owners and stuff, but yeah, really nice stadium to look at. But it is in the middle of no, well, not in the middle of nowhere. It's just stuck out um, as a lot of modern stadiums are on main roads, as you can see there. Look, it's just like big retail parks, main roads, and a stadium. It's not quite got the um, the feel of a turf moor, which is in and around the houses of the people of Burnley, for instance. So yeah, it's, um, it's a modern stadium, but one I am buzzing to get inside of for a game. Stuart, people will recognize you. You're back on the channel again, third appearance. You're probably one of the biggest regulars, apart from me I now, know, on the I'm channel. I'm gonna get a job at you, sir. I know, yeah, no, mate, you'd, you'd be uh, welcomed here. But look, we got the um, the University of Bolton Stadium, I think it's called now. It's gone for a few name changes, but you obviously live in Chorley, you're the Chorley groundsman, but you haven't ever seen a game here at Bolton, have you? Very true. Uh, as I say, I've passed by the stadium a million times, but I've never actually been in it, so I'm actually quite looking forward to this, so. Um, I think I'm going to predict a Bolton win tonight. Anything you remember about the club from, you know, just down the years? Like, massive, is there any... Massive, a sleeping giant of a Premier League club. Yeah. JG Acocha, Ivan Campo, and uh, just that's just some names. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Started well. Bolton missing chances here, but here they go again. It's one nil one, but the refs chatting to the linesman. Could be disallowing it, but look at the fans there buzzing. Disallowed, all that for nothing. It's half time, the ref is getting booed. Nil nil Bolton have had one disallowed, but see you in the second half. Hang on it, here you go. Ref's getting absolutely slated. Oh, he's still got it. Give him. Oh.
finally had a red card. Not long left, and Burton have had a player sent off, but Bolton dominated this game. Oh! Get it in there, all these short corners. Oh! So narrow, isn't it? Go wide! Just over there, look, you can see the bright lights of the Reebok. I know it as the Reebok. It is the Reebok to me. It's the Reebok Stadium, but really it's the University of Bolton Stadium. But actually, do you know what? Considering it was 0-0, it was actually a really good game. We celebrated that goal that got disallowed, so it kind of felt like we had a goal in the game. There was a red card, there were so many chances, the ref got booed, the atmosphere. I've been told by mates who've been to Bolton before that the atmosphere wasn't great. I think they came to a Saturday 3 o'clocker, so, you know, it's the same at Anfield. When you go to a Saturday 3 o'clocker, it can be a bit dead. But under the lights tonight, it was tremendous. It was really good. It was really feisty, really fiery. There's a lot of tackles flying in. And I think Burton will be really happy to go away with a point. They got battered pretty much for all 90 minutes. And for them to come away with a clean sheet and a point, I think they'll be very happy with that. Oh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. I don't think I mentioned that in this video yet. Hasselbank is their manager. And he was going mental on the touchline at, at stages. But, yeah, really enjoyed today. They really enjoyed Bolton, another ground for me to tick off, so buzzing that I've been here. Do remember to download One Football as well, it really supports my channel and it's completely free. Top link in the description box below to One Football, you get loads of stats and stuff like that. Please, could you hit that like button as well? I'd really appreciate it, it helps this video get seen by more people. And lastly, please do subscribe, it'd be fantastic to see you around here more often if you're not subscribed already. I go to loads of football stadiums all around the country and there is way more coming up. Thank you so much for watching, I'll leave some videos Videos on screen right now please do click on one to carry on watching thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one